Some of you are so fucked in the head when you actually don't know the real truth behind what's happened. Like, you just make a narrative calling me racist and then you say, aha, that's her now. It's not. Hello, ladies and genitals. Today we're discussing Elphaba yet again. And this time she's taken a break from spreading diseases, I hope, and now she's being racist. Gorgeous Iranian person with a Black Lives Matter movement. Post on your thing called me in my live stream. Do you think that's okay? Oh my god, bloody hell. I, did, I didn't expect that. I don't want to show uh, all of this video for, for obvious reasons, but she actually says it three times. And she's addressed Black Lives Matter in the video. So she's aware of the movement existing at that time. So the use of this word multiple times was around the time of Black Lives Matter marches, protests. And I seem to remember a lot of the marches happening and a lot of the protests happening when we were actually in lockdown in this country. So at the time, other than the big bad virus, that was one of the only things being reported. So we were all indoors and this was like all that was on our TV screen. So you can't really claim innocence there. The fact you even address Black Lives Matter whilst using a racial slur. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? But she tries to say that in her defense, she was merely quoting the word. And if you're sitting there thinking this is fine, you will change your mind after the next video. I have a problem with spiders, but I have a problem with M-Rise. <sighs> okay, this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Just because you've censored yourself, doesn't make it okay. It doesn't take away the intent. The whole purpose of what you said had intent. You said you have an issue and then censored a racial slur. That's intent, so racist intent. During the Black Lives Matter movement being extremely prominent at the time, I'm struggling to see how she's gonna defend herself here. But I believe this was all brought to the surface because Elphaba decided it was a very good idea to stand in solidarity with Eden Harvey when she was on live singing along to songs that involved the n-word and she said it whilst singing along. Right, so you can clearly see there, they have either mouthed or sung along to that word. And whether mouthed or spoken, it's still like, it's, it's still just, you just don't do it, just don't. But after seeing this, Elphaba decides it's a great idea to make a public stand with her. Yes, Elphaba makes a public appeal for her viewers to come out and show solidarity with someone for using the N-word. Just a normal day of reporting on this very, very normal creator. I want everyone to put Eden with a green heart if you support Eden. Okay? And I'm going to take a photo and I'm going to send it to her. So I want, I want to show her that she's got support. Put Eden with a green heart. Okay, just to uh, clarify and make sure we're all on the same page, you want your viewers to come out and publicly associate themselves with a white person using the N-word. It's not just you wanting to show support, you want to try and influence or manipulate your young audience to also do the same. All of this to defend a white person using the N-word. Very strange behavior. Ah, uh, yeah, someone said Eden. I'm following you for that. I'm gonna give you a follow for saying Eden because you know what? You're an icon for that. So you have to put Eden with a green heart, like Eden, Does she just actually connect from her live in real life? But the worrying thing here for me is a very, very clear manipulation tactic, and it's quite worrying. She's offering an incentive as a manipulation tactic to stand and unite with someone for using racist language. And let's be honest, for a lot of like young and impressionable kids, a follow back from someone who is, although infamous, still popular on the platform, that would mean a lot to them. For some strange reason, people are obsessed with getting follows and interactions from these strange people on the internet. For someone who is likely young and impressionable, it's just such a like, it's fought out. She knows what she's doing and it's actually, it's worrying to see. I'll be honest, that's what I'm trying to say. It's worrying to see. Honestly, Elphaba offering incentives to get children to stand with her and support 
racism, it's a much more worrying thing than I think people realise. I don't think I've actually seen anyone address this clip here. I just think this is a bit of an insight to how these, you know, TikTok creators are really influencing the younger generation in a bad way. Because we all know social media is like that, right? We all know people will do anything for follows back from their idols. And I just think some people don't really understand what a digital footprint is, and one day they will. But yes, like I said, because of this interesting stance that Alphabet's taking, people did some digging and they found the naughty videos of Alphabet too. But one thing I struggle with when I make these videos is trying to get an accurate timeline of events when it comes to what Alphabet's doing, because she always wears the same bloody clothes. But from what I can see, around about a week ago, Alphabet got really excited that she managed to call out Mama Kaz for being racist. There you go. She isn't happy there that she's managed to call someone out for being racist because it's the correct thing to do. She's happy because she knows that at that moment in time, she got one over Mama Kaz. And it really does worry me, this modern TikTok cesspool, where these creators, creators, will go on their lives and sit there and try and use calling someone out for being racist as like a moral high ground to get one over the other one. But now we all get what's happened. We all understand what's been said. We all understand what she's like. Now let's see her try and dig her way out of this situation, shall we? But a formal warning, this video I'm about to show, the person's Wi-Fi who's recording it is fucking dreadful. So when the video keeps stuttering, it's not you, it's them. I've got a question, right? Yeah. So got... you're saying that you was, how old, 16, 17 when you was doing this? Yes. Yeah. The Black Lives Matter protests were going on. So yeah. there's no way you wouldn't have been aware from right from Right. Saying that you didn't have a platform, then is no excuse to to say no, what you said. But then you know what? I was naive when I was young, and this was stuff that was years ago. No, no, no. This is absolutely tragic. I did not realize at first she was trying to say that because she didn't have a platform, what she's saying was okay. That's genuinely all that any of this ever comes down to for Alphaba. It's just followers. It's so tragic. I didn't ask Walking for down to the shops. I didn't, I didn't ask for, yeah, exactly. My life is fucked. So all I can say is to the council culture, you need to understand people more. Because you don't know me in real life. Ah yes, be more understanding of um, racial hatred. If you don't understand it, it's on you. You're just cancel culture. What a fucking stupid way to live. You've literally been outed for using racial slurs and standing with someone for using racial slurs. And you want to say that you're hard done by. But how about we watch the video where Elphaba decides that she's going to address all the controversy surrounding her name. I've got to address something real quick. Basically, there was a video of me saying um, the N-word um, when I was, I think, 16, 15 years old. That's, this was over four years ago, we're talking. Like, this is an old video. If, it, if, this, if this was more recent, then I would understand. Okay, so because it was like four years ago, why are you annoyed? I don't understand why you're annoyed. She did just say that. Guys, I guess we should just all leave her alone then. She doesn't understand our frustrations because the video is not new. I guess let's just forget anything ever happened. That was absolutely years ago. People are gonna counsel me for everything, aren't they? So I'm pretty much counseled anyway. Um, so you can't really counsel me more than I already am. Um, what have you got more to throw at, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you've counselled me so much for everything, like, everything, that you've tried to put on me. I, at this point, you just watch me for it. So, I mean, what more can you do? Well, start by stopping the use of slurs, and stop spreading scabies too. And I do think that combined with this and the spreading scabies incident proves that Elfba really has zero care for anyone else around her. We are seeing no remorse here whatsoever. I believe that with the scabies incident, she knows that she probably couldn't have been banned or like be deplatformed or anything like that. But with this, there could be a genuine consequence of all of these actions. So basically, she's addressing this because she's sorry that she's been caught. But actually, what I find funny about this is that she doesn't actually apologize once. She does own up to it, you know, she doesn't try to blame AI this time. 
so that's a breakthrough. But how could you ever expect this to ever go away? You've not even apologized. All you've done is admit fault. You literally admitted to using racial slurs and tried to make excuses rather than actually apologize. <sighs> I can confirm that we did just sit there together for 24 seconds and watch someone try to cry. What a shame she couldn't manage it. Not one singular tear. We may have been able to forgive and forget if a tear would have streamed out, but I think this shows that someone has had one too many drama classes. It's quite frankly embarrassing. But how about we end off with the icing on top of the Elphaba is over party cake. Elphaba making herself the victim. I am so proud of myself, man. So proud of myself that I have to go through this every day and I'm still here. And I have to deal with it. I'm proud. I'm strong. I'm really strong. And I can deal with it. Yeah. So I'm gonna sing you a song. Sorry. Fuck off. What? Oh yes, I'm sorry I was racist. Be proud of me though. Shall I get the karaoke out? Shall we have a sing song? What am I seeing? My mum's all I've got, and I'm staying alive for her. Time to try to find gravity. No fucking way. That short amount of time was a lot to unpack. So let's start off by addressing the fact that she is literally trying to make us feel sorry for her. She is the one in the wrong. You did the bad thing. No, don't worry about the foul and abusive language. Think about my TikTok. What will I do without my TikTok? Then as usual decides to pick up a microphone and scream into it, claiming that it is singing. But my overall take on this, because let's be real, racism is never funny. If you are watching this and you directly fund Elphaba, please stop. Because throughout most of these clips that I've watched that have been taken from her lives, there is gifts and money coming through throughout the whole thing. She was literally sitting there addressing being racist whilst money was flashing up onto the screen, going directly into her bank account. People are enabling this behavior, so please stop. Pretty please? But yes, genuinely, this YouTube channel is not dedicated to Elphaba, by the way. I, I make other videos, and I will make other videos soon, but it just does seem that as soon as I finish editing an Elphaba video, more stuff comes out that I just can't not talk about. But yes, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please do feel free to leave a like, and subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and you can always unsubscribe if you get sick of the sight of my stupid ugly face. Also, thank you so much for all of the support on my channel lately. I did not ever expect to to get as many subscribers as I have right now, so thank you very much. You guys are absolutely amazing and my channel is growing at a ridiculously quick rate and I will forever be grateful for all the support everyone leaves on these videos. But uh, yeah, cheers. Bye.